Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, everyone. So this is going to be a, a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for a June 10th to June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump straight away into the spread. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Pisces week, that is to be the Four of Pentacles. Followed by the second one, which is the challenge that Pisces needs to overcome. That is going to be the Two of Wands. Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Ace of Pentacles. And then the last one, that is to be the Guidance here, and we do have the Ten of Swords. Wow, all right. So uh, once again, topic of the week here with the Four of Pentacles, followed by the uh, Two of Wands, which is the challenge that you need to overcome. A uh, positive aspect that is to be the Ace of Pentacles. And then the last one for you, Pisces, that is to be the Ten of Swords, which is the Guidance. Okay, so uh, there is no really a wrong way how you can approach the week, which is the good thing, which is the best thing, by the way. I mean, I didn't have that I would say positive reading for a quite a while now. And uh, you can't decide really, Pisces, how to, uh, how to go along with, uh, with your week. You can either um, indulge yourself with, your, with what you already have, you know, and, and proceed forward developing it and sustaining it. Or, uh, you know, if you're not satisfied with what you have, you can definitely gonna have the opportunity to further a, a certain goal of yours. So to attract, let's say, new customers, a new suitor, right? Or to have an opportunity for getting in that promotion of yours and etc. etc. It does depend what you really want from yourself, uh, for yourself. Now, what you need to know, however, is that in order for you to take on this opportunity that will allow you to further your goal then you are you will have to kind of like adopt a little bit of a risky position so that will be the only negative aspect and a risky position from a sense that you may feel like a bit awkward and like you are not in your place at least in its initial state so the first card here which is the topic itself that is the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles points that you will have um how can I place it? The option to secure your future, to, fa to, to make your future much more foreseeable, you know, much more manageable and much more secure as well. That is due to the fact that your defensive positions in regards to your achievements are going to be very successful, meaning that you will be able to sustain your current achievement and create that really strong, I would say, comfort zone around them that will allow you to bear or kind of like to enjoy the fruits of your labor for a, a quite, quite a long time. The accompanied card here that is to be the High Priestess <clears throat> and the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have. So with the High Priestess, 
uh, the, the High Priestess here only strengthens the uh, Four of Pentacles kind of uh, card, pointing that whatever fruits or whatever achievements you, um, you have accomplished recently are going to be, I would say, indestructible and as well... Um, how can I place it? Beneficial in the long term. So just to give you an example of that, guys, let's say that you recently started a, a job. Well, that job is going to go for a really, really long run. Or recently you have started a relationship. Well, that relationship is going to go for a really, really long run long run. You started a private business. Well, congratulations. It's going to be uh, quite successful in a, a long run. However, like I said, if you want to do so, if you want that to happen, you will have to uh, guard it and you will need to do whatever is necessary in order to uh, secure its steady and future, uh, future development. That is on one side. Now, on the flip side, we do have the challenges and also the positive aspect. They are very tightly connected. So we have the two of wands. And as a challenging card, it is simultaneously positive and not that positive. And I will explain you why. It is positive because it points that you are, you are to sitting on a good achievement. All right. So you're going to be quite satisfied throughout the week with what you have accomplished. And uh, the thing is that you may say to yourself that, uh, that is enough. You know, I mean, I, I have that good job, so that is enough. I have this enthralling person, so that is enough, all right? Where well, I have accomplished my goal, and that is enough. While the Two of Swords here as a challenge urges you to, to reconsider the standpoint and to realize that whatever skills you have incorporated into uh, overcoming this project or to enthrall that person into start a relationship or you know to make yourself much more comfortable into your environment those skills you have barely scratched the surface with those skills or with the, with this knowledge you know or that with that performance and these skills performance knowledge and you name it needs to be developed even further so even if it does, if even if it, this doesn't happen throughout this week, June 10th to June 16th, you need to know that you do still have a, a lot of room to grow with either your relationship, with either your career as well. While it, what I'm trying to say here is, is what, why it is a good thing, you know, to take your time to enjoy what you have accomplished. It is also a, a beneficial if you keep one into your mind that you can grow and you you, you need to try figuring out a, a ways how you can grow further. The accompanied card here that is to be the, um, the Hierophant. Formation, it is a uh, active neutrals and with the Hierophant into that place, it really speaks of some sort of an unorthodox uh, methods of how you can improve yourself or rather like how you can grow. Like, for example, into your career, participating into a uh, projects that you still have a lot to learn about. And by participating yourself into those projects, uh, then you are going to learn a lot, you know, and you, you are going to become even more capable in what you do, which is going to allow you to, uh, <clears throat> to qualify for different positions, for much better positions, you know, or for much better jobs, that is, or into relationship as well, you know, try to experience some sort of an, an enterprises which initially you're not feeling very comfortable with, you know, but as you go along with them, uh, you're going to start getting the hang of them and that will make the relationship much more dynamic, much more dappled with enthusiasm and so on and so forth. Now, the way I see these cards is that there is a, a danger here that you're going to settle around a, a certain um, a certain boundaries while you can expand those boundaries and sprout them much more um much in a much more uh, wide a wider scale uh, but what is going to take here is like i said to throw yourself a little bit off your comfort zone and allow yourself to experience things that you are not feeling very comfortable with okay if i have to give you an ex another example with this as let's say that you recently started a relationship and the boy or the girl that you have started a relationship with likes skiing. Well, if you are a person like me 
I am terrified by skiing, all right? It's just for me, this is a sport that the best, that the only thing that you are gonna get yourself is going to get yourself killed, all right? It's just, it's way too much danger. But if you allow yourself to try it, who knows, you may like it, you know, and that will, that will be another point of contact with your newfound passion. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which is the positive aspect of the week, and that will be the uh, <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. Now, on the grand scheme of things, Pisces, the Ace of Pentacles promises you that this week is going to be very, uh, is, is going to be a week dappled or rather like filled up with a, a much of a content, uh, a much of a, a pleasant experience as well. It does promises you that your relationships, either friendship, co-worker or intimate relationships are going to be uh, flawless, uh, harmoniously flowing. OK, so there won't be many things that you're going to argue about. As a matter of fact, it is a very good card where you can make peace with someone that you recently had a, a huge argument with. Additionally to that, the Ace of Pentacles promises you success into your business as well. So if you are running your own business with the Ace of Pentacles here, you may expect more customers, you may expect a, uh, a rise of the funding as well, you know, a rise of the monetary success and so on and so forth. But on a, a more narrow scale, the Ace of Pentacles promises you a, that rare opportunity, like I said, to further one of your goals. Now, which goal of yours that is going to be? Well, that depends on how the Ace of Pentacles is going to manifest. But in order for you to take advantage of this opportunity, like I said, you have to throw yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Because focusing on monetary success, that is just for an example, is going to be granted to you. I mean, the monetary success is going to be granted to you, but focusing it on it, uh, focusing on it alone is going to grant you only lonely and empty existence. That's why you, well, basically what I'm trying to say here is that you need to share your good fortune with others and as well allow yourself to experience what others are experiencing as well. The accompanied card here, we do have the uh, King of Swords. So the formation, it is a passive enemies. And even though you are going to be in a good place, somehow people will maintain their good attitude toward you. I mean, they're not going to see you as a threat. They're not going to see you as a something, someone who gets spoiled by success, which is a good thing, I guess. All right. And additionally to that, you don't have to figure out any resolution to any issues because with these couple of cards, it doesn't look like that there are going to be any issues or if there are any issues, the uh, the resolution of them is already figured out. So you don't have to bang your head against the wall and um, trying to, you know, to basically find your way through because the way through is already have been defined. And probably, you, like I said, you will have to do something in orthodoxo in order to take advantage of it. Which leads us, guys, to the uh, next card, and that is to be the guidance that you have to follow here. Uh, that is the Ten of Swords. And uh, as I said, the week could go in a two ways. You can either indulge yourself with your current achievements or you can decide to uh, step outside of your comfort zone and to um, provoke, you know, chasing this uh, new opportunity of yours or rather like this goal of yours. The Ten of Swords urges you to do so. I mean, to throw yourself outside of the comfort zone, despite of how hard it is for you, and chase on this new era that it has a chance to be uh, em to emerge uh, in your life. Now, personally, as a human being and as a as a person, <clears throat> you know, I would not do that. But I'm talking about myself. Okay, I don't, I'm not adventurous. I do prefer to stick with this secure path. I do prefer to um, to have my life, you know, build up around a um, pretty much solid ground. So I don't throw myself much out of your, out of my comfort zone. Although here for you guys, the Ten of Swords is urging you to do so, to take the risk, you know, and to see what happens. And according to these cards, only positive things are to happen. The accompanied card of the Ten of Swords here, that is to be the Five of Pentacles. All right, so what we have here actually, it is that um, <clears throat> with this approach of yours, 
kind of like uh, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing things a little bit more unorthodox. So actually it's going to throw a lot of people on, off guard, especially people who are around you to uh, create only uh, problems for you. All right. That co-worker of yours, for example, which always messes up with your things and instead of being helpful, they are actually more more, uh, more as a hassle, they are appearing more as a hassle. And when you do something unorthodoxal in regards to your career and in regards to your job, uh, that throws them off guard and they simply don't know what to do. They don't know how to influence that and that this is going to dis disturb them and disrupt them as well uh, quite severely, not to mention that you will be able to avoid further problems created by these people people or by these situations as well uh, because simply no one is going to be prepared or nothing is going to be prepared as well to obstruct you in any way because no one will really expect from you to you alone to throw yourself out of your comfort zone and try out something new. Another example that comes to my mind, let's say that you started a relationship with this person, but that person also had another suitor, all right, which kind of like finds you very boring. And what that suitor uh, thinks is that, oh, well, okay, so that, that person chose you, but they will quickly get bored because simply you don't share similar interests, but, but by you throwing yourself outside of your comfort zone and actually trying the interest of the person that you are with and finding out that actually you can find a common interest uh, is throwing the third party uh, basically off. It's just they don't expect it. And now they see that they cannot influence that, uh, that relationship or they cannot hope that uh, your boyfriend or a girlfriend is going to dump you for that you don't share similar interests because you already have. I mean, you are exploring similar interests. So yeah, do not be afraid to try something different. This is what I'm trying to say. But uh, if you are completely uh, fulfilled with what you already have, be my guest and do not risk it. That is what the week have for you in store, Pisces. It does depend what, what your preferences are, excuse me, and that will define how the week is going to run for you. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 6th to Ju June 10th, excuse me, to June 16th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.